Hey y'all, it's Derek. Uh, we're gonna go live a few minutes early. Can you see Mariner here? There he is. Uh, he hasn't quite warmed up to the ramp I made him last night yet. Huh? Stay there, stay there. Huh. Give me a sec, just dragged a float. So bad. Probably because you eat more than you freaking work out. But um, I need to grab that rope. Fluff mud. Yay! Go. There we go. Now I can step down in the mud and not be in the mud. Where is the best place? To I guess the camera pull you all alongside this way. Let me hop in here, see how everything sounds, looks. Give me a thumbs up if it's sounding good, looking good, and everything else. What's up? Who we got in here? We got Tim, we got Tiger, we got Civi, we got Andy, we got Greg. We got Viper, we got a whole crowd coming in. Coming in to watch me not get anything else accomplished. <laughs> this is a show where we do absolutely nothing and then we, uh, we say we did a lot. <laughs> Isn't that right? We say we did absolutely nothing and then we say we did a lot. Huh, man? Uh, you wanna see if your ramp works? Oh, come here, come here. No, no, take the ramp. Oh, take the ramp. Take the ramp. It's probably got to be wider, huh? Oh, come here. Come here. Use the ramp. Use the ramp. Go down. Go down. Go down. Use the ramp. Hey. Calm down. Retrain yourself. Use the ramp. Come on. He almost... He almost knocked me out yesterday doing this last night. Come on, up. There you go, up. There you go. Huh? You're finding your own way around it. You're finding your own way. Oh, I pushed you, huh? Come here. Oh, man. Teresa's here, too, huh? We got Chris here. Man, we got a whole great a whole crowd coming in. Whole crowd coming in. I don't think that camera picks me up that good from there. We're going to do some painting today, but it's a hot one. What is the temperature here today? Not only is it a hot one, but I stopped. Oh, Jason Bangers. Good to see you, Jason. Jason, how are we looking on that little project you're working on? Eighty-six degrees right now. That's entirely too hot. It's entirely too hot. We want rain immediately. You're on it. Awesome. I know you're on it. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait.
Tara Clark's redoing job. <laughs> Y'all want to bet that I'm falling in, huh? <laughs> Y'all want to bet that I'm falling in. Everyone seems to forget that I work around barges, docks, and salt water for a very, very long time. How long is it? Damn it. It's the last thing I wanted to do was open it up all the way. I need to drink water, Derek. We're making very dumb decisions very early on in the stream. tape now. There's my tape. <sighs> Gonna wrap it in a garbage bag, yeah. When I worked, I was younger and thinner. <laughs> huh. Got to open that side window or you lose audio. I got to figure this stuff out, huh? 
We gotta figure this stuff out. To get some mics strategically placed on the boat is what I gotta do. I can feel it now. <laughs> Shut up, don't mock. You very well might be going in. Don't do that. Don't do that. Anyone seen that meme with the guy? watching his neighbor on the ladder and the neighbor's using the ladder improperly and the guy's just like cringing as he sees it going down because he knows what's going to happen, right? He knows the guy's going to fall. I think that's what we got going on right here. I think everyone is right now yelling at their screen a lot like when I was making the pasta. <laughs> The pasta incident. I didn't stretch for didn't stretch for that ninja move. Now you get to see my beer belly. You don't just get to see my plumber's crack. You get to see the beer belly.
Suki hasn't recovered from the pasta incident. It was the last day of July. <laughs> Dwenzel, good to see you. It's 86 degrees. There's a processing facility right now. Get my winter weight on. And I am. 86 degrees dockside. Woo, the scarf blew up. Something's perky. By the way, y'all, y'all were talking about marsh critters yesterday. I need to, there was a guy up, up, apparently, had a run in with a big old gator, Monday. If you type in on Google, West Ashley man, attacked by gator. George came up. Fifty feet in the water and everything. He ran because he had a tank on. How he survived. Really interesting. <laughs> no audio. <laughs> <laughs> no audio. Huh. Let's bring that camera in here for a minute. Where's that? Let's bring y'all in here. We have to get that sorted or I'm not going to be able to paint with y'all. And what's the point of doing any work on the food boat if I can't take y'all along? So where is, it would require me to be organized, Mayor, to know where that cord is. We're going to spend all day looking for that cord now, aren't we? When you're out by the window, it keeps dropping. Okay. So yeah, George, if you Google West Ashley gator attack, or gator attacks West Ashley, man, here, let me see if I, I'll just bring it up for y'all. While I'm looking for this, I'll let y'all watch this. Gator attacks. West Ashley, man. William Georgitis, William Georgitis. Sounds like a health condition.
David, good to see you. Give me a sec. I'm trying to figure out how to screen share with you again. Screen share. Share that one. Audio is off. On to a man in West Ashley recovering tonight after he was attacked by an alligator pulled to the bottom of the Cooper River where he says he oh, ran out of fear. Ya. News News Raymond Owen spoke with him earlier today about his terrifying experience. And Raymond, you're live at Bushy Park Boat Landing. That's where the man was able to eventually get back to shore and to the hospital. But what a terrifying story you're about to tell us. I know it was, it was scary. I really can't think of anything much scarier than this. Uh, William George Ida said when he was diving for fossils in the Cooper River uh, near the power lines area, if you're familiar with that, uh, and it was about two o'clock on Monday when he was diving. He went down and came back up to the surface, and this is what happened. And when I surfaced, he was uh, he was about 20 feet away from me. And as soon as he saw me, he turned and he you know, launched himself out the water. I mean, he was coming at me like almost hydroplaning on the top. It was he was so determined to get there. A massive alligator was about to hit him. Put my arm up defensively, and uh, he grabbed hold of it. And uh, I mean, he was huge. I don't even know how big he was just because I was right there in his face. So like, I, but he felt massive. I knew his first move once he grabbed me was to, to roll me. And so I bear hugged him. I wrapped my arm around his head, my legs around his neck. The next thing that happens, William is pulled underwater with little air left in his scuba tank. I got my screwdriver that I use on the bottom of the river and I went to stab him in the eye. When I did that, he shook me like a rag doll, threw me off of him. I grabbed back a hold of him because I didn't want him to roll again. But his arm was still in the gator's clamped down jaw. At that point, he took me to the bottom and I could tell because my ears started popping and it got real black. And I hit the bottom with my shoulders and my, my neck and I could feel his weight pressing down on me. I couldn't get up to his eye again, so I went for his gum line and tried to stab it in between his teeth where the soft spots were. And that seemed to work. He shook me again pretty hard down there. And at that point, I ran out of air. So now he's 50 feet underwater fighting an alligator, and he's run out of air. And so I knew um, that that was the end of my life at that, that moment. But it wasn't. Wrenched back as hard as I could, trying to rip my arm off the elbow. And uh, I got out. I don't know how. And I just thought that I tore it off. And... Uh, when I got back to the surface, I could see it, but it was flopping down, hanging like a wet noodle. And uh, the guy on the boat dragged me in. I couldn't pull myself up. William has some advice for other divers. This gator is extremely aggressive, and he's right there where everyone else dives. Um, it's a well-known spot, and this thing is huge. And he, he didn't even take a second to attack me. I mean, he was on me as soon as he saw me. So whoever else is out there diving, please be careful. Very, very scary. What would you do? I, <laughs> I'm i not a badass like that guy. I mean, I know like flight or flight, you get in that situation and it's like do or die type situation. <sighs> but uh, a gator, that man fought a gator. Yeah, this was right up the Cooper. This was right up the Cooper. Yeah, watch out for Betty White feeding them Crocs. Good to see you. What happened? All right. I got a longer cord, so give me a sec. You're about to lose me.
are we transmitting audio? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? What do you mean my audio is off the whole time? <laughs> How about now? Can you hear me now? <sighs> this may not work then. Dropped out the backside. Is it transmitting? It should be transmitting, right? Audio is good. Okay, give me a sec. I'm going to try to feed this out. I should be back now, right? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, we got thumbs up. How about now? Looks like you can hear me now. Um, how are we gonna skin this cat? Wanna be able to bring you a video, but I can't bring you video with our current setup. And I do. Have a bit of a time crunch. Mm. 
you can't hear me when I go outside. And the aux cord doesn't work. That aux cord probably got wet in July. So it doesn't work. Throw the ball. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody's having fun. I didn't know you can see a donation history. That's a new one on me. That's a new one on me. He would love for me to throw the ball, but let me show you why he's not getting the ball thrown right now. Let me show you why. I know water. How do I get you sound? I think the only way to get you audio and video is to patch in the cell phone right now. <laughs> it's a long story, Jason. It's a long story. The, uh, I think there's some leather couches involved and a couple other things that need to happen to uh, rectify that. But it's a long story. Uh, all right. Um, that camera doesn't do the best. It's good, but it's not clear. I'll turn that off. Maybe that'll help. Teresa's going to a dance. What kind of dance, Teresa? Where's my invite? Um, Tim, I hear you on that. I, uh, the cord, I, I got to go buy a new 3.5 line. What happened is, is that cord got probably wet and got chafed. focusing on this <laughs> it's focusing on all that shit that I got <laughs> on the desk it might be time to clean that desk it might be time to clean that desk
hopefully this is good now. We'll see. We'll see. This should just transmit just fine. Um, let me get a measuring tape. What I do with the measuring tape? I forgot. The two by fours, the studs. Put it in chat how far apart they are. 16, 16 and a half. I think they're 16 and a half inches on center. I can't remember. Can you put it in chat? Can you put it in chat for me? Something doesn't like you. You get a weird sound over there. Wait. Derek's going to paint it sometime. It's going to take a minute. I got to remember, the studs are 16 on center. It seems to be 16 on center. That's what everyone's saying in there. Okay, 16 on center it is. Other side. So we go 16. They got red marks on them. That makes it easy for me. 48.
Now I need my speed square. Let me explain to you my thought process. What I'm doing is, rather than fight a tape, I use this to make my hash marks. And I can't show you the picture anymore. Well, I guess I can. Ah, it's going to be too difficult. Let's just get to work. Um, I want to make the food boat look like a shanty boat. So, How do I do this without an extra set of hands? Don't do that. They need to go high. Don't break the glass. I won't break the glass. How the hell am I supposed to do this?
Uh, question is, do y'all know what the hell I'm doing? Probably don't. I don't. <laughs> Try this at home, kids. Ugh. Need to bring y'all further down, huh? Don't miss the show. Don't miss the show. Dude, let me show you that, huh? You gotta see this. You gotta see what we're working with here. Camera. Oh, wrong one. More. Settings. Camera. So this is what we're working with. I gotta fit this thing through there. So I can continue to walk alongside, but I'm putting these little blue lines in because those are going to be my fake boards. So I'm going to paint between those and then they'll get furring strips on them to create the divide. But it'll make it look like it's a boarded wall. But right now, I need to squeeze this thing here. Oh, give it up. Cloth mud created a Frickin' suction hole. <sighs> Might be easier. How's this gonna work? Put y'all down here. Let's get a little bit of the angle. Less of the dock. Wrong angle, huh?
was a lot like work. That was a lot like work. Be right back. I'm going to go check the chat. Those bubbles are me sucking at doing what I do. <laughs> That's what they are. But now that, on a serious note, I haven't finished the bottom of the side yet. Because it's going to require me to get a little bit wet. Because working down here is going to require me to be down here and do what I'm doing right now. So some of this will get taken out as I smooth out and finish that bottom. And some of those are just going to be ripples that are going to be there for now. It's weatherproof. It's just not going to be perfect. But let's be honest. What about my channel's perfect? That's character, right? That's character. <laughs> Ooh, almost put that in the water. Not the camera. I'm bored.
It's a lot like work, y'all. Problem with this type of work. It's more mental than it is physical. If there's one thing I hate more than physical work, it's mental work. <laughs> We got to adjust one more time. One more time. Why do you gotta love it? Because you ain't got a choice. Plough mud, otherwise known as plow mud. Because they used to plow the fields with it. They used to take it, put it into the ground, and um, fertilize the fields with it. Cause it's rich in shit. Who's text? I can't see. Sorry. I'll probably go inside here in a minute. Catch up with y'all. My belly is rubbing up against this stuff because I'm fat. Derek, don't lean on the ladder.
not sure. We got two more lines to put in. that way. Done with all of those. Let's turn you around. So as you can see, got all the lines in. We're gonna make a fake uh, batten board or fall, fake fall, whatever you call it. It's gonna be fake as. <laughs> Still hear me? I think you can still hear me. Fa, fo, yeah. Yep. Rocking the food boat from Baltimore. Good afternoon, Andy. Good to see you. Hope things are well, man. I know you're back in action with that uh, that new computer. Dad, <laughs> Dad had to go home. Dad had to go home. Andy is crushing it with Baltimore. I mean, I'm really excited for Andy. But I'm also really excited for everyone that wants to see that, right? Because you know Andy's going to do a hell of a job documenting that entire thing and he's already doing a great job he's going to continue to do a great job and again andy this is amazing that's amazing any Mirac. I, I'm still broadcasting on the phone because I got to go back out there, so I can't check the text right now because um, the, the phone is the stream. Because if I go out there, I don't have audio uh, with my other setup. I'm going to have to tonight probably go to the store and uh, – I, I don't want to add. I don't want to add any more weight. 
to the boat. So the sides that are there now, it's going to just be fake. Um, I'm going to paint them uh, brown, different variations of brown. And, um, and yeah, wow, I am sucking through water because it's 86 degrees here right now. It's like really the first summer day we've had. That air conditioner is struggling to keep up. It's struggling to keep up. I have to upgrade to a new air conditioner. So this is, don't do that. This is the ramp that I made for Mariner. He doesn't like it. Uh, it's a one by 10. I'm probably gonna upgrade to a one by 12 and put new strips on. He also doesn't like that straight turn there, but I gotta get, Something figured out for my buddy. Um, it doesn't protrude into the walkway and makes it better for him to get in and out. He's just not used to that yet. But yeah. Let me suck down a little bit more water. We'll go back to work. I got to lose weight, y'all. I got to get in a little bit better shape before June gets here. Been going at it for an hour, and the only thing I got was lines drawn on the side of the boat. <laughs> Build a bunk box. I, I need to be able to store stuff under the bed, Jason. That's why the bed's up high. Because like, I got to put the water under there and, uh, and several other things. But... I just got to reconfigure it or something. Yeah, everything above the bed is like wasted space, right? So the amount of space you can put the bed up allows you to put more storage down below it. Time to start painting, I guess. Time to start painting. Yeah, get that passport, man. Get that passport. Don't let me come there before you come here.
That makes a little bit of sense, Jason. I mean, uh, Tiger. All right. I'm out of chat. Back to here. So... Yeah. Um, where are the paints? These are the three colors that we got. These two obviously are a more natural color, and then this one's going to be an accent on a couple boards just to, to pop out the food boat logo in the center. So I saw your comment about the paints boiling in the sun. <laughs> you want them nice and loose. My paintboard, how do you know it's my paintboard? Because it's got a roller brush fuse to it. It's a knocker. Hello, on the boat!
come on, cooperate with me. Dual wielding paint rollers. <laughs> Get up there for y'all to get higher. I'll give you a higher vantage point. Eric, you suck at that, huh? If y'all can take a guess at the job I hate the least, you'd be exactly right if you said painting. You're about to put me in the drink.
one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, What's chat saying? It's gotta be named Stripes now. <laughs> oh. Settings, camera, not my ugly mug. All right. So obviously it's gonna get furring strips at the divides. I gotta still make those. And then there's gonna be the logo here in the center. So I'm gonna make that pop with some orange. But uh, I don't know, kind of liking it, kind of liking it. Come on down here. Let's see what chat's saying a little bit more. Don't look, Ethel. <laughs> yeah, they're called batten. Can't get past four. I don't know how to count past four. I just, I don't know what to do. Where's the squirrel? Um, yeah, so let me get the orange. We'll get that center done. And then we'll get all that squared away, I, I think. That one rather, that went easier than I thought. Um, I do need to play with something else. I've never done this before. So I need to figure this out. Will it be beautiful when it's done? You don't like it right now? <laughs> oh, you said it'll be beautiful when it's done. I need to figure out how to use these. These are uh, these are for, for putting wood grain in. So I kind of want to Hollywood it up and put a little bit of wood grain in the paint. What I'm thinking is I got to get a base coat on and then once that base coat dries, put another coat on top of it of a different one. So on the dark one, put the light one and on the light one, put the dark one and then do that. I don't know. Um, obviously, the only way for me to figure it out is to do it. So at some point that's going to happen unless y'all in the comment section know better. Dark covers light. Yeah, I'm going to try it on scrap wood for sure. I'm going to try it on scrap wood for sure. But I got to play with that because I, I think that would be cool to put the wood grain in it um, and then put the battens up. And uh, I think that'll really make it look. Yeah, you know, I, I, there's, um, there's this thing called shanty boats. And I think shanty boats are right along the line with the whole thing I'm doing with the food boat where it's like it travels, it cooks, and it shows off the different cuisine, especially here uh, in the low country uh, in the Carolinas, Georgia, whatnot. I think it'll be like right in par uh, for that. So that's... Um, you need a special paint for that. Jason, you got my email. Send me that. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rollers are fusing. Ah, 
I just can't catch a break with y'all. Trying, try mixing dark and light for grain. I think I know what you're saying. I think I know what you're saying. All right, let me get back out there. Let's see. <laughs> that camera. Come on, I want to give him. He doesn't like the heat. He doesn't like the heat at all. I mean, it's it's nice in here. It's nice in here, but it's uh, it's certainly not as hot as it is outside. But I've got the door open and I've got all that stuff too. So he's not getting the benefit of being inside in the air conditioning. Um, let me put y'all over there. By the way, y'all, I know this project's taking a while, but that's because none of this stuff's cheap. I went and spent like $240 just to freaking paint this wall. It's crazy. I'm not saying that for any other reason than it's just like, I know the project's dragging on. And the reason the project drags on is because I'm broke still trying to get all this done in the next month or so for y'all so we can get on the water again. So let's uh, let's do this. Can you see me? Kind of. Paint's cooking off quick. Y'all weren't real. Y'all weren't lying. <laughs> y'all weren't lying. That paint's cooking off quick.
One, two, three, four. So we got four, five, six, seven, four, five, no, five, six, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. So these are the dead middle. Moving at two.
I gotta get y'all a battery. Sorry, give me a sec. You're on low battery mode. All right, let me, let me do this. Now you should be hearing me. Now you should be hearing me. This, I think I've already showed you, is the paint scheme I'm going for. I mean, obviously that's, come on now, that's a stain on the wood, but that's kind of what I'm going for, is more of that rustic, like, it's called a shanty boat look. So that's why if you look at like what it is, it's got to be a pattern without being a pattern, if that makes sense. Yeah. So that's what it's going for. Uh, the only reason the orange is there is the orange is actually to tie it into the logo. Because uh, the orange is the logo and that'll make it pop. Um, that's why it's there. Let me go grab that paint and get it out of the sun because y'all are right, it's cooking off hard in that sun. Uh, so let me get that, I'll be right back. I gotta let that phone uh, charge back up for a minute. Yeah, I want it to look like crap. I want it to look very barbecue, very rustic-isk, like post-apocalyptic almost. That's, that's the look I'm going for. That's the look I'm going for. I should be able to put you
Right over here, and it keeps this camera out of the sun. So Crap by design. <laughs> ah. You go back down there. Well, I know it's hot. I know it's hot. Conditioner. The problem with a better air conditioner right now is if it was too good, it would encourage me to sit in the air condition and suck up the AC.
Yeah, the pocket door needs to be closed. Um, the problem is, is it swings open too much. And right now I'm going in and out a lot. Where is the freaking hammer? I guess. Handy dandy wrench. You're going to lose audio when we go up here, but I do want to show you what's going on. Watching paint dry. Definitely looking. Hopefully it looks good when it's all said and done. I can probably... Let me do that. I can probably do that back deck. It'll look good once the logo's up. Once the furring strips are up. Might do the back deck. My all-in-one tool. I got plenty of time, <laughs> plenty of time. I'm going to do that back deck though. Um, might end the stream here for the simple fact that the audio is not cooperating. I need to let that phone charge and everything. And now this thing seems to be starting doing something wonky. Uh, so we're about two hours, 10 minutes into today. That's pretty good for the day. Um, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh and call it burn there's nowhere to throw the ball the mud's here the tide's not here see it's still mud there's nowhere to throw the ball only way i can throw the ball is to take them up to the pond and y'all can't see that so yeah wow andy thanks again man so today we've got burn that gave us some money <laughs> he wants to see color on these walls and then andy gave just a indiscriminate 10 bucks thanks andy 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm painting the walls. These are probably going to get stained. I might end it here so I can take Mariner home, put them in the AC. And uh, what I'll do then is I'll probably go do some shopping because I'd like to eventually get those little light strips that you put up in the corner um, that do like two contrasting lights and maybe a blackout sheet. Sorry, ADD is kicking in. I saw a cord in the door. Uh, maybe a blackout sheet for this door. And then also, um, what's the other one? Oh, maybe get some 3.5 auxiliary jacks and stuff. So I'm going to go shopping um, and get some stuff squared away while we wait on the tide. I don't need to cover anything. The rain comes typically from that side, and that stuff's going to cook off. I mean, it's already close to dry. It says about an hour, hour and a half to, for it to cook. So it's, it's I, I, I've got faith in it. I've got faith in it. So I will see you all later. And if it doesn't work, that's the food boat for you. Anyways, thanks again. If you're made it this far and you haven't smashed that like button, please smash that like button for me. And I'll see you later on the food boat. We're getting really close to having this thing ready to be on the water. Um, I will tease you before I leave. Since you're here, don't go anywhere. I will tease you with this. Just for those of you that were asking yesterday. I did pick one up. Now y'all can sleep tight <laughs> or now y'all can rest easy and, uh, and, and take it. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know what to do with my hands. We're just going to call it.